Okay, here we are with the BlackBerry Curve, the 8330 on the Sprint Network. Uh, taking a look at the phone, we can see right off the bat that it's a full QWERTY keyboard layout, but we're going to come back to that a little bit later. Uh, kind of starting at the phone, we'll start on the left-hand side of the phone. As we can see, starting from left to right, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack for convenient use of standard headphones that you'd find on any MP3 player or Walkman type device. Uh, next to it, we have the mini USB charging data port and right next to it, it might be a little hard to see this black button we have is a convenience key uh, changeable to just about any application in your phone however BlackBerry has it set up to the voice activated dialing going to the other side of the phone we have another smart key on the left this is currently set up for the camera option um, again changeable to any of the applications next to it we have our volume toggle down and up um, on the top of the phone we also have another convenience key. This one is dedicated for mute function or if you press and hold it puts the phone into standby mode preventing it from uh, pushing keys while it's in a pocket or purse. Looking at the back side of the phone we can see that we have the camera with a uh, LED flash. This is a 2.0 megapixel camera. Um, the flash is a simple white LED light that does a pretty good job in uh, close range settings for lighting up dark areas. Underneath it we have the self-portrait mirror pretty self-explanatory. Underneath the battery, or the back here, we have the battery, which is a 1150 milliamp hour battery. It's rated at 4.5 hours of talk time. Uh, however, from personal use, as a heavy cell phone user, I can get about a day and a half to two days out of the phone. Underneath this battery, we have our SD card slot. It's a uh, 8 gig supportive card. Uh, there's talk about it being boosted up to 16, however that's currently unconfirmed. Putting this back cover on, we can see a little easier to the left and right of the battery cover release. We have these two contacts allowing for charging through the desktop stand. Going back to the front of the phone, we can see that we have a full QWERTY keyboard laid out very nicely in the four rows. And then on top of that we have another five buttons. We've got our talk and end button on the outside. We have the Blackberry symbol which works as the menu button and then the back button. In the center here we have a trackball which allows us to scroll in any direction uh, as well as when we put it in it works as a click. If we hit the menu button we can pull up a list of all of our applications. Um, I currently have a theme right now that allows me to see at a glance if I have new messages, what my work schedule is, and my call log. Uh, getting into probably one of the most important features about getting BlackBerry is the messaging options. When we go into the menu, we can see that we have a list of all of our messages. Uh, we can go in, we can text message. The new 4.5 operating system that BlackBerry has allows us to now send picture messages from the phone itself through the menus uh, instead of just sending it as an email. Uh, the screen, kind of sticking with the picture messaging, is a very well laid out screen. It's very clear. This is a QVGA quality screen. It's 320 by 240. Uh, it's great for uh, picture messaging. It's great for camera use. I've used it to watch videos. Um, for being a cell phone screen, I've, I've been very impressed with it. Uh, going back to videos, this phone does allow for streaming videos from sites like YouTube or other uh, flash-based web programs. Uh, with the BlackBerry App Store that's now out, it allows for a plethora of uh, programs to be downloaded, anywhere from social networking, like I have Facebook and Twitter on here, to Google, Wall Street Journal, uh, I've got uh, Texas Hold'em and other, other programs depending on your interests. The phone comes equipped with BlackBerry Maps, which is a GPS program designed by BlackBerry for navigation through uh, areas you might be unfamiliar with as well as carrier specific like Sprint Navigation, Sprint Music, uh, and Sprint TV. These programs are self-explanatory but they're uh, used only on the Sprint network. Other carriers may have different options. Overall this phone has been uh, very impressive. It's been very practical. Uh, it's held up to the wear and tear of daily use and uh, I think it's a highly recommended phone for just about anybody that's willing to spend a little bit extra on the data plan. Thank you.